you. The end of the Texas deep freeze. When they opened their door, firefighters were there, telling them to evacuate immediately. We thought we were going to ev evacuate and then and then they'll put the fire out and then we'll be able to go back to our room. That wasn't the case. The family was helped down flights of stairs by firemen and back into the freezing temps. I said I love being black. Charges relating to helping dispose of Vanessa's body. With Robinson now dead, Army officials say at a press conference the next day that while the criminal investigation into Vanessa's murder continues, they have no evidence that Robinson ever sexually harassed her. What's going through your mind as the shelter shutting down? I've never had to live on the streets, ever. But it's happening. It's happening. where champions are forged and every game matters. The teams of the Big 12 Conference. Hi everybody, I'm John Morris. Join me every Friday during 6 News at 6 for the Big 12 Update. It's an in-depth look at all the excitement that is the Big 12. John Morris and the Big 12 Update, Fridays on 6 Sports at 6, brought to you by your Central Texas Honda dealers. Race into your local Central Texas Honda dealers during the Dream Garage Spring Event. What is the 1st Cavalry Division? It's a patch worn on the shoulders of those who have done big things and carved their own path. The first to Tokyo during World War II, the first to Pyongyang, and the first to take to the skies as Air Mobile. It's forged in the history of those setting a standard 100 years in the making, and they do not stand alone. By rising to the challenge and building upon one another as America's first team, the strength of which depends entirely on its troopers. Loyalty duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. These values embody what it means to be part of this elite group of those that serve and have served. That's why as we reach this milestone and beyond, we continue to celebrate the troopers behind America's first team. Thank you for 100 years of the 1st Cavalry Division and your part in being the legend. From self-driving cars to networking, today's Meet the Mayor event in Nolanville was all about connecting the community with leading minds at Texas A&M University. The event featured robotics, machine learning software, and activities for adults and children. The goal of A&M's project is to make Central Texas a more tech-friendly place to live. One Nolanville resident in attendance is excited about the future of the city she calls home. In the long term, I think that this is really beneficial for our kiddos because whatever advancements are made at the city at this level, with this type of engagement, I mean, the possibilities are endless. For more information on Nolanville's partnership with Texas A&M, visit our website. That's KCENTV.com. Hi. Bye. We my dad. son is my world. He motivates me, and because of him, I'm able to do this job. April is the month <laughs> of the military child. It honors kids just the like five-year-old Eli Demora for the sacrifices they make as major components of the armed forces community. Nadine Wiley Demora deployed to help with peacekeeping and COVID-19 relief efforts in Kosovo, a country ravaged by war for more than two decades. You're not sure if you get COVID what's going to happen and being in a situation where if you did get COVID, you would need to be medevaced out to a place that can actually provide that care to you is, is kind of scary. But Nadine found the strength to keep helping others through her son. I had a rough day at work, but I go down, I lay down on my bed and like, there he is. And it's like, all right, it's for him. I'm doing this for him. It's okay, I can, I can take one more day. And she never stopped thinking the moment she would be reunited with Eli back home. I just was so appreciative of him accepting me back into his heart and to his life and it's I not think that's always just easy so reading again, again, again they don't sign up for this I signed up for this I went away and it's like you know mommy's back but um let's keep rolling and and he and he just keeps rolling with her son by her side Nadine is now a commander both making sacrifices and overcoming challenges but remaining resilient together I looked into his eyes I believe they were 
reading off something and he's I looked over for one second and I just see him staring at me and I'm just like wow like I and it's that that look like you know he's thinking in his I I feel like it I translate it as you know that's my mommy and I'm over there sitting in a chair next to you know a general and I'm like that's exactly how I want my son to remember me for more okay. information, please visit the 71st the Troop Command page on Facebook. One.